Hey, what is going on guys? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with another batch tutorial. And you know, I think this is actually our last tutorial where we're focusing on building our own functions and creating sort of like a tool for us. And we're, we've been looking at arrays just recently, and I think this is the very end of those. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome to actually look back and see how far we've came. We have come, anyway. We've, we have came quite a ways. <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's not waste any time here, though. Let's get CMD ready. And I'll show you what it is that we're going to be working with, because we are going to be building a function that will allow us to reverse an array. Now, it's pretty simple. Actually, we just sort of count backwards from the array. So if I just do array reverse, I think I'll call my script that, and I'll call it add echo off. And the syntax will, of course, be call array reverse with the array name and the delimiter, because we still haven't set that up as something that we can see globally. But you know that's okay, because sometimes we may want to be able to modify it. So, delimiter is something we need to actually worry about though, so that's going to become a string. And we do need a new array to be able to keep track of everything, but for now we're going to set that to be absolutely nothing, because we're going to work with it later on. Now limit can actually go ahead and equal the length of our array, subtract 1. And then we'll go ahead and begin uh, looping. So 4-L, G, in. And now the way we're going to do this is we're going to count backwards. So we're going to start at our limit, or at the very end of the array, increment by negative 1, so we're counting down, and go up until we reach 0. Or go down until we reach 0, better yet. <laughs> now, every time we do that, we're going to test if the current position is equal to 0, or essentially at the end, then we don't tack on the delimiter, but if not, we're just going to set new array to equal whatever new array equaled prior, and then we can have our array index at the current position. Now, if this is not the case, then what we're going to do is actually go ahead and run the same thing, but the delimiter is going to be pushed on the end of it, so we do have a delimiter. And then we're all done looping, and we can go ahead and actually call create array and just sort of update the initial array that we were working with. So we can pass that in as our array name, pass in our delimiter, and then go ahead and pass in the new array for the value. Awesome. We're practically done already. Now if we run script.bat, put something together real nice and easy here, make something quick for us, enable late expansion we can go ahead and call create array it says array reverse all this stuff then we can go ahead and echo out our array before we modify it. I'll get my script open. Reverse all this stuff. We don't need that exclamation point. And we can go ahead and call array reverse array with our space. And it says stuff all this all reverse stuff this all reverse. Holy crap. It's reversed so well I can't even read it. <laughs> and uh, really that's all there is to it guys. It just shifts uh, what was at the be what was at the end to the beginning and what was at the beginning to the end. So it just you know reverses the string. It sort of flip flops it in a way, but uh, very easy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, hopefully at this point you guys have figured out the power of using loops because really that allows us to manipulate things in very cool ways. Especially if we sort of think about what we're doing, if we use our conditional statements, if we test for each individual piece we can make some really cool stuff and uh, that's really what I wanted to show you guys inside these uh, the whole multitude of videos that we've been working on just last just recently anyway be between working in strings between working in arrays uh, I wanted to show you guys that you do have a lot of options here in batch even though it is a bit of a quirky and limited language we still can use it as a scripting language and it makes it more of a, a powerful tool for us even though it has a very strange syntax especially working with variables it seems like we're writing more code than we really have to but you know maybe in the end it's uh, maybe in the end it, it's nice <laughs> I guess it's however you want to look at it you are the eternal optimist you know <laughs> but uh, that's enough of me talking. I'll let you get on with your day, and I'll see you again. Bye.